today I'm showing you how to minimize input delay plus lag and how to maximize frames per second in Rocket League. Keep in mind that the things I go through have an increasingly bigger impact throughout the video. The first thing you need to do is optimize your settings. Go to video settings in Rocket League and listen up. Resolution 1920 by 1080 display mode full screen, vertical sync off, this reduces input delay a lot, make sure to press apply, anti-aliasing off, render quality on high quality or else your game will look really bad, render detail on custom, frames per second, you want this to match your refresh rate, I have a 240hz monitor so I have it on 240, texture detail high performance, world detail performance, particle detail performance, effects intensity, low intensity, then all of these boxes want to be off. The next thing you can do to decrease how much delay you have is switch from a wireless to a wired controller. It's just a fact that in all of technology everything is faster when it's wired. The next thing you can do, which actually has a much bigger difference than you think, is switch from a TV to a gaming monitor. You don't realise how much delay there actually is when playing on a TV until you play on a monitor for the first time. It's wild. I made the switch a few years ago and I still wish I did it sooner. Next on the list which is arguably the most effective way to get more frames and reduce input delay is switch from console to PC, but let me tell you why. Old gen consoles like PS4 and Xbox One are 60 FPS. New gen consoles like PS5 and Xbox Series X are 120 FPS, but computers could go up to 1000 if you wanted them to. Depending on your rank, you may already be playing against mainly PC players who have at least 4 times your frames per second if you're on console. Also on PC, you have way less delay, so it really is just an unfair advantage. The final and probably the most important thing to get rid of lag and delay is to switch from wireless to a wired connection. I also did this a few years ago and I'm not joking when I tell you, Ever since I plugged in that ethernet cable, I have not lagged since. If it's ever came up with packet loss on your screen, an ethernet cable makes sure you're receiving all packets at all times. You may even have an ethernet cable lying around your house, but if not, they're really cheap. All you have to do is plug one end into your router and the other end into your console or PC. 